this video we are going to perform the plot of the function using MATLAB and we will see some specific part and while zooming how can we zoom and how can we edit the plot using the MATLAB before starting if you haven't subscribed the channel please go and subscribe the channel so now first we will generate the data for x and y axis so x axis we are taking the time a equals to 0 to 0 0.0001 to 1 and y we are taking sine of 2 into pi into 50 into t now we will plot this function using the plot command the first variable will be the x-axis then we want to plot the time on the x-axis and the second variable will be the magnitude of the input signal so we will just write the command plot t comma y it will give us this plot now we want to edit this plot for our report so what we have to go we have to click on this icon once we click on this icon a next window will ap appear so the next window will be like this so first we will change the background go to the figure property property editor and change the figure color to white next now we want to edit this plot and we want to increase the font size so just click on the figure and go to the property editor and change the font size based for your requirement now x axis now i want to change the y axis magnitude minus 5 to 2 now i want to include the grid in on x axis and y axis so we'll just click on these two checkbox so once you click on the, these two checkbox the grid will appear on the x axis and the y axis as well now we want to add the labels on x axis and y axis what we have to do we have to go for x axis we want to add the time so we'll just write x label and on y axis we want to change the magnitude we want to write the magnitude okay the unit could be anything okay so you can see the time and magnitude will happen appears here so in some of the figure we need to zoom the uh, we need we have to zoom this figure for a specific point so doing that case what you can do you can just click on the figure just make a control c and make a control v over here so now you can see one more figure has been copied here now we have to delete and uh, what we want to do we want to change the time axis and uh, we want to zoom a particular position 0.5 to 0.6 or 0.5 to only one or two cycles we want to see while zooming now what we want to do we want to so this is the zoomed version now we want to change the width of this line signal so how can we do we just click on this one and uh, make it two. and if you want to change the line type you can change by clicking on this line so you will get a different kind of lines and if you want to change the color what you can do you just click on the figure data and you can directly change the color of the figure <coughs> now i want to add the which portion i have zoomed so i have zoomed 0.5 to 0.52 so i have to show that portion so what i'll do i just go to the figure palette i'll just choose the rectangle and i just check here and to change the width of the rectangle i'll change this one line width to 2 and the edge color i'll change to red any other edge color uh, which will be best suitable for this and line style i'll change to dash okay so now this portion is zoomed to this one now we, what we'll do we'll just add the arrow and we'll show this is this zoomed now we want to increase the size of the arrow so width we will make it 2 head width we will make it 24 and head length we will make it 24 
so the increase of the arrow size will also increase now what we want to do we want to save it so go to the file check the print preview whether while printing it is coming good or not we'll just check the print preview and uh, we'll see the what should be the width and what should be the height so height will be this one and width will be this one so we will increase the width to 32 and we will reduce the height to 18 now we will close it and again we will go to file save as and we will save as the png and test we will go for now we will open this figure now you can see this is the actual figure which we have edited using the matlab symbolic 